As we mentioned earlier, 40 years ago today, on July 20th, 1969, three men made history in an event that captivated the world. As the Lunar Module Eagle separated from the Command Module Columbia, the world held its breath as they landed successfully on the moon at 8.17 p.m. Seven hours later, one man emerged and uttered those immortal words, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. One of those moments that if you were alive, you remember exactly where you were and what you were doing. So what do we remember of that moment? And for no apparent reason, Linda Bellingham, <laughs> <laughs> I begin with you. Well, of course, I was 21 that year, which was very important, really, oh, to me. Are. Yes. And I was, I just left drama school. And I do remember very clear, there's a lot of the, these magic moments in history, in my lifetime, I can't remember at all where I was. <laughs> um, but that one I do. And I was, we all stood in front of the television, and my dad was um, a pilot, so it was a big, big, big deal for him. And, you know, he was talking us all through it and how this was a great big moment in history. And I think mm. I was more excited for my dad than, than actually watching this little black and white television, kind of thinking, yeah, yeah, good, good, mm. Mm, good, yes. Right, well, I'm off now then to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> but no, well, it was pretty, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And you just couldn't take it in really and I'd been a great sci-fi oh. I loved films about it and, and dad was going on about HD Wells and, and and actually looking back on it you think well where did it all go it's all, such it's an anti you know. well, yeah race. why why did they never do it again too much money you apparently. know I don't know Come back they, still, theory. They, they still spend an inordinate amount of money on space exploration, don't they? You know, there's big programs in the States. Not as much as they used to, though, yeah, I don't Yeah, you know, think. they're trying to get to Mars and all that. You know, what's the point? They got to the moon, nothing happened. You know, <laughs> what, I, I don't understand it at it all. It took seven but, hours to put one foot on it, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so what? It took them like four weeks to get there or something at the oh, time. Oh, stop it. I'll do you remember it? Do you remember <laughs> it? Actually, I do remember it because I, I, was, I was nine in 1969. And I do remember, I, I don't remember being that thrilled, but, you know, I do remember it, it being important, or rather my mum saying, this is important, you should watch this, we're mm. watching it on the telly. Um, but, you know, I, I, you know me, you know, <laughs> you know I like a conspiracy theory, but you don't it, think all seemed, it just all seemed rather unbelievable. And because they've never done it since, I still think it's quite unbelievable. And, you know, there are quite a few things that are questionable about it. You know, look at the flag, it's, it's going like that. There's no wind on the moon. <laughs> you know, and then when you look at the, 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 the ship was like 17 tonnes or something, and... It, it didn't leave any marks, whereas there were footprints, and there, you know, and the photographs are so clear, and yet they were on cameras which were, were attached to a moving human being with no flash I photography. I think I, I think it's all. You yeah, think it happened? Happen. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care that it happened. This is it's really weird. I think probably because I was quite little at the time. Um, I was born in '63. What's that? So five, mm. um, and it just all went completely over my head, and I just. I, d I don't because I'm not into science fiction anyway. Um, I oh, you're a bunch of philistines. No, just, yeah. no, it's not so much that. It's just that. Um, I mean, and also the thing about they say that you can see the Great Wall of China from up there as well. It's the only thing you can see from the moon. Well, why have we seen a picture of it from up there? Well, you've well, you seen pictures of satellites, satellites yeah, but like not from the moon. Oh, I, mean, okay. I mean, you are right. The strange thing is, obviously, there are going to be quite a, quite a lot of celebrations. Yeah. We didn't even bother <laughs> yeah. with science. We didn't have a room for science. But they're sort of all, they're, they're marking the occasion, obviously, in the States in a very big way. But Neil Armstrong, who was the first man to never set... Never spoken about it. Never spoken about it, not taking part in any of the... Maybe it didn't happen. Maybe he doesn't... Or what has been suggested, and I'm certainly not suggesting, but what has been suggested is that the experience of leaving the planet, looking back on our planet and going yeah. to somewhere else, is so mind-blowing that they all did go a little I strange. Just, I, can a little last week. I can actually believe it can yeah. make you go a bit mad. Because, yeah, yeah. you know, we all think everything down here is so important and, and that's it. Everyone thinks that's it. There's nothing else. And when you, when you remove yourself from that, and look back at it and just think, oh, it must make you go a little bit nuts. Yes, and Buzz Aldrin, I remember doing, I did a quiz show with Buzz Aldrin, and he was talking about seeing the curve of the Earth, seeing the, and he said it, it, it was absolutely phenomenal. You know, it is another place it takes you to, I'm sure.
So I can understand that. Would and you I ever go, you know, would you go if no, you were offered and, you know, free trip really. around the <laughs> no. solar system? No. 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 No way. No. No, no, I couldn't no, bear I it if, you, if, if it was I wrong. If I didn't have children, I would in a second. I can't would you? No, absolutely. Well, what if it all went wrong and you were just well, floating in space? Well, I would have done the first one. I'd make sure the first one worked oh, and then I'd go on the second one. Oh, no. Oh, I can't think of anything worse. And then you got up there and it really was made of cheese. Yeah. <laughs>